<laughs> In the remote town of Willowbrook, an ancient curse plagued the land. Locals spoke of a skinwalker, a malevolent spirit capable of assuming any form it desired. The curse had remained dormant for generations, but whispers of strange occurrences began to spread, signaling the return of the dreaded creature. The first sign of the skinwalker's return was the haunting howls that echoed through the forest at night. Residents of Willowbrook huddled indoors, their hearts gripped with fear as the otherworldly cries filled the air. They knew that something unnatural had awakened in the depths of the woods. Soon after the howls began, people started to vanish without a trace. Families were torn apart, their loved ones vanishing into thin air. The town was gripped by terror, the once peaceful community now a place of dread and suspicion. Whispers of the skinwalker grew louder, its legend intertwining with the disappearances. Amidst the fear and paranoia, a skeptical outsider named Alex arrived in Willowbrook. A seasoned journalist, Alex was drawn to the town by the rumors of supernatural occurrences. Initially dismissing the stories as mere folklore, Alex soon found themselves entangled in a web of mysteries that defied explanation. As Alex delved deeper into the town's history, they encountered unexplained phenomena. Objects moved on their own, and eerie whispers filled the night. Skepticism turned to curiosity, and Alex began to investigate the origins of the Skinwalker legend, determined to uncover the truth behind the town's growing terror. Through ancient texts and faded manuscripts, Alex discovered rituals that were believed to summon and control the Skinwalker. The rituals spoke of dark sacrifices and forbidden chants, their words sending shivers down Alex's spine. Intrigued yet horrified, Alex contemplated the consequences of attempting to control such a malevolent force. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Alex sought the help of a reclusive occult expert, Dr. Evelyn Blackwood. Initially reluctant to get involved, Dr. Blackwood saw the desperation in Alex's eyes and agreed to assist. Together, they delved into the ancient rituals, hoping to find a way to stop the skinwalker before it claimed more lives. During their research, Alex and Dr. Blackwood uncovered a chilling warning from the past, a message left by those who had attempted to control the skinwalker centuries ago. The message spoke of the creature's insatiable hunger for power and the destruction it left in its wake. The warning fueled their determination to put an end to the curse. One fateful night, under the light of the full moon, Alex and Dr. Blackwood ventured into the heart of the forest, armed with ancient relics and incantations. As they performed the rituals, the skinwalker emerged from the shadows, its eyes glowing with a malevolent intelligence. A battle of wills ensued, the outcome uncertain. The ritual took an unexpected turn, and the skinwalker, enraged by their attempt to bind it, attacked with relentless fury. Alex and Dr. Blackwood narrowly escaped, their bodies bruised and their spirits shaken. The failed attempt only seemed to strengthen the Skinwalker, its power now more formidable than ever. Undeterred by their failure, Alex and Dr. Blackwood continued their research, unearthing long-buried secrets about the origins of the Skinwalker curse. They learned of a tragic love story and a betrayal that had set the curse in motion. The discovery offered a glimmer of hope, a potential weakness in the creature they now faced. In their quest for answers, Alex and Dr. Blackwood encountered an enigmatic figure, a guardian spirit bound to the forest. The spirit revealed ancient prophecies and whispered of a way to weaken the Skinwalker's power. Their alliance with the guardian spirit marked a turning point in their battle against the malevolent force. To weaken the Skinwalker, the guardian spirit shared a sacrificial pact, a dangerous ritual that required a willing participant to offer their life force to disrupt the creature's connection to the spirit realm. Despite the risks, Alex volunteered, their determination to protect the town outweighing their fear. Under the light of the harvest moon, the ritual commenced. The guardian spirit guided Alex through the intricate steps, their words ancient and powerful. As the ritual reached its climax, the forest trembled, and a blinding light enveloped Alex. 
The sacrifice sent shockwaves through the spirit realm, weakening the Skinwalker's grip on reality. The sacrifice had weakened the Skinwalker, its once overwhelming power now diminished. Dr. Blackwood and Alex seized the opportunity, devising a plan to confront the creature and banish it from Willowbrook. Armed with newfound knowledge and determination, they prepared for the final battle. In the heart of the forest, amidst ancient ruins and twisted trees, the final confrontation took place. The Skinwalker, sensing its weakening power, fought ferociously, assuming grotesque forms to intimidate its adversaries. Alex and Dr. Blackwood stood their ground, their resolve unshakable. The battle was not just physical, but also a battle of wits. The Skinwalker manipulated their fears, conjuring nightmarish visions and illusions. Dr. Blackwood and Alex, armed with their knowledge and bravery, countered the illusions with determination, refusing to succumb to the creature's psychological warfare. As the battle raged on, the Skinwalker unleashed its full fury. The ground trembled beneath its feet, and the very air seemed to crackle with malevolent energy. Dr. Blackwood chanted ancient incantations, creating a protective barrier, while Alex confronted the creature head-on, their courage a beacon of light amidst the darkness. In a desperate gambit, Dr. Blackwood recited a forbidden incantation an ancient spell capable of banishing the Skinwalker to a realm beyond reach. The words resonated with primordial power, forming chains of ethereal energy that ensnared the creature. The Skinwalker roared in defiance, its form writhing within the mystical confines. With a final, resounding chant, Dr. Blackwood and Alex banished the Skinwalker. The creature's screams echoed through the forest as it was dragged into the rift between worlds, its malevolent presence dissipating into the void. Willowbrook was finally free from the curse that had plagued it for centuries. In the aftermath of the battle, Willowbrook began to heal. The haunting howls ceased, and the town's residents slowly regained a sense of normalcy. Yet the memories of the Skinwalker's terror lingered, casting long shadows over the once peaceful town. The victory was bittersweet. While the curse was broken, the town bore scars, both physical and emotional. Families mourned the lost ones, and the forest, once a place of beauty, was now a reminder of the darkness that had consumed it. The townsfolk vowed to never forget the sacrifices made to save their home. With the Skinwalker banished, the guardian spirit appeared one last time to Alex and Dr. Blackwood. Expressing gratitude for their bravery, the spirit revealed that it was time for them to move on, their duty fulfilled. As the spirit faded, a sense of peace settled over the forest, and a single blooming flower marked the spot where they had stood. In the years that followed, Willowbrook proved its resilience. The town rebuilt, stronger than before, its spirit unbroken by the horrors of the past. The tale of the Skinwalker became a cautionary legend, a reminder of the importance of unity and bravery in the face of darkness. The legacy of courage lived on in Willowbrook. The younger generation grew up hearing the stories of bravery, inspiring them to face challenges with fortitude and determination. The town became a beacon of hope, its people bound by a shared history of triumph over evil. Faith in the supernatural was rekindled in Willowbrook, not as a source of fear, but as a reminder of the mysteries of the world. The townsfolk embraced their connection to the spiritual realm, honoring the guardian spirit in annual ceremonies and believing in the balance between light and shadow. The forest, once tainted by the Skinwalker's presence, became a place of solace once again. Families picnicked under the shade of ancient trees, and children played near the sparkling streams. Nature had reclaimed its rightful place, and the townsfolk found comfort in the gentle whispers of the wind and the rustle of leaves. A book of legends was created to chronicle the tale of the Skinwalker. Housed in Willowbrook's library, the book served as a testament to the town's bravery. Visitors and residents alike read its pages, their imaginations stirred by the harrowing adventures of those who had faced the supernatural and emerged victorious. With the banishment of the Skinwalker, a balance was restored to the town and its surroundings. Animals returned to the forest, their presence a sign of nature's resilience. 
The once darkened skies cleared, revealing a canopy of stars that shone brighter than ever before. The bonds formed during the struggle against the Skinwalker endured. Alex and Dr. Blackwood remained friends, their shared experience creating a connection that transcended the passage of time. Their friendship was a reminder of the strength found in unity and trust. Years after the events, Alex returned to Willowbrook. The town had prospered, its wounds healed, and its people thriving. Alex, now a renowned author, penned a novel based on their experiences, ensuring that the tale of the Skinwalker would be remembered for generations to come. As night fell in Willowbrook, whispers could sometimes be heard in the wind. The townsfolk believed it was the guardian spirit, watching over them from the spirit realm. The whispers carried messages of hope and courage, reminding the people of their resilience in the face of darkness. Although the skinwalker was gone, Willowbrook remained vigilant. The town's residents understood the importance of staying connected to the spiritual world, honoring the guardian spirit, and remaining aware of the delicate balance between light and shadow. Their continued vigilance ensured that the town would never again fall victim to malevolent forces. The eternal gratitude of the townsfolk was expressed in acts of kindness and unity. They lived their lives with a deep appreciation for the precious gift of safety, their actions reflecting the lessons learned during the Skinwalker's reign of terror. The town became a beacon of harmony, its people bound together by the memories of their shared struggle. And so, the tale of the Skinwalker came to an end, but the memory of its horrors lingered in the hearts of those who had faced it. In the depths of the night, as the stars glittered overhead, the town of Willowbrook stood as a testament to the enduring power of bravery, unity, and the unyielding spirit of humanity. <laughs>In the small town of Hollowbrook, nestled deep within the dense woods, there existed a forgotten legend. A tale of a skinwalker, a creature that could assume any form it desired. The legend had faded into obscurity, dismissed as a mere folktale by the town's residents. Little did they know that the ancient evil was about to awaken, thirsting for revenge. Strange occurrences plagued Hollowbrook. Livestock vanished without a trace, and eerie howls echoed through the night. Residents whispered of shadows moving in the darkness, and a deep sense of unease settled over the town. Unbeknownst to them, the Skinwalker had returned, its presence casting a sinister shadow over the once peaceful community. Amidst the growing fear, an outsider named Mia arrived in Hollowbrook, drawn by the town's mysterious aura. As a paranormal investigator, Mia was skeptical of supernatural phenomena, believing that there was always a rational explanation. However, the chilling atmosphere of Hollowbrook tested her skepticism, stirring a curiosity that she couldn't ignore. Through her research, Mia unearthed the town's forgotten history. The tale of a vengeful spirit wronged centuries ago. The spirit had become the skinwalker, cursed to roam the earth seeking retribution. Mia delved deeper, determined to uncover the truth behind the legend and put an end to the town's suffering. In her quest for answers, Mia sought the help of a reclusive historian, Dr. Nathaniel Blackwood. Initially reluctant to involve himself in the town's affairs, Dr. Blackwood sensed the gravity of the situation and agreed to assist Mia. Together, they delved into ancient texts and arcane rituals, seeking a way to banish the Skinwalker once and for all. In their research, Mia and Dr. Blackwood discovered a ritual, a forbidden ceremony believed to bind the Skinwalker to the spirit realm. The ritual required intricate symbols and rare ingredients, and its completion was perilous. Undeterred by the danger, they prepared to perform the ritual, hoping to trap the Skinwalker and end its reign of terror. Under the veil of midnight, Mia and Dr. Blackwood began the ritual. The air crackled with supernatural energy as they chanted ancient incantations and drew intricate symbols on the forest floor. In the midst of the ceremony, the Skinwalker emerged from the shadows, its eyes ablaze with malevolence. The confrontation had begun. The battle that ensued was not only physical, but also a battle of wits. The Skinwalker, cunning and ancient, 
manipulated Mia and Dr. Blackwood's deepest fears and desires, attempting to break their resolve. Mia, with her unyielding determination, countered the creature's psychological onslaught, refusing to succumb to its sinister tricks. As the battle intensified, the Skinwalker unleashed its full fury, trees trembled, and the very earth seemed to revolt against its presence. Dr. Blackwood chanted protective incantations, creating a barrier against the Skinwalker's wrath, while Mia confronted the creature head-on, her courage shining brightly amidst the darkness. With every ounce of their strength, Mia and Dr. Blackwood completed the ritual. The symbols glowed with ethereal light, forming a cage around the Skinwalker. The creature roared in fury, its form contorting within the mystical confines. In that moment of vulnerability, Mia and Dr. Blackwood sealed the Skinwalker, vanishing it to the spirit realm. In the aftermath of the battle, a fragile peace settled over Hollowbrook. The town's residents, initially skeptical of Mia and Dr. Blackwood's efforts, now regarded them as heroes. The haunting howls ceased, and the once-shadowed woods seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. However, the scars left by the Skinwalker's presence ran deep, and the town remained on edge. Despite the victory, lingering shadows continued to haunt Hollowbrook. Nightmares plagued the residents, and whispers of the Skinwalker's vengeful spirit echoed through the night. Mia, too, was tormented by visions, her sleep disturbed by the creature's malevolent gaze. The battle may have been won, but the war was far from over. Months passed, and just as the town began to believe that the worst was behind them, the Skinwalker's sinister presence resurged. It appeared in dreams, its voice a chilling whisper in the wind. The symbols of the binding ritual began to fade, weakening the cage that held the creature in the spirit realm. Realizing the Skinwalker's resurgence, Mia and Dr. Blackwood formed a desperate alliance with a local witch, Selene. Selene, gifted with ancient knowledge, revealed a prophecy, a prophecy that spoke of a chosen one, destined to face the Skinwalker in a final cataclysmic battle. The trio set out to find this chosen one, their hope flickering in the face of despair. The chosen one, a young man named Caleb, was initially reluctant to accept his destiny. However, witnessing the Skinwalker's devastating influence on the town, he embraced his role. With Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Selene as his guides, Caleb embarked on a journey of self-discovery, preparing himself for the ultimate confrontation. To strengthen Caleb's power, the trio sought out ancient relics, objects imbued with mystical energy capable of combating the Skinwalker. Their quest led them to hidden chambers and forgotten temples, where they faced traps and guardians, testing their determination and resolve. Under the guidance of his mentors, Caleb underwent rigorous training. He learned ancient spells and mastered the use of the relics, his skills honed by Selene's wisdom, Dr. Blackwood's knowledge, and Mia's unwavering support. In the moonlit nights, he practiced his abilities, the woods echoing with the crackle of magic. As Caleb delved deeper into his training, he experienced prophetic dreams, visions of the Skinwalker's past and its insidious plans for the future. The dreams revealed the creature's true origins and its connection to a dark force that sought to consume the world. Armed with this knowledge, Caleb's determination solidified, his purpose clear. The night of the final confrontation arrived, a night shrouded in darkness and uncertainty. Caleb, Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Selene ventured deep into the heart of the woods, guided by ancient texts and Caleb's intuition. The air crackled with tension as they reached the very spot where the Skinwalker had first been imprisoned. The battle that ensued was cataclysmic. The Skinwalker, now aware of the Chosen One's presence, emerged in a monstrous form, a grotesque fusion of all the creatures it had ever mimicked. Caleb faced the creature head-on, his spells clashing with the Skinwalker's dark magic. Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Selene provided support, their combined efforts creating a barrier against the creature's onslaught. In the midst of the battle, Selene realized the only way to defeat the Skinwalker was through sacrifice. With tears in her eyes, 
she cast a powerful spell, linking her life force to the ancient relics and channeling their energy into Caleb. The sacrifice amplified Caleb's abilities, turning the tide of the battle in their favor. With newfound strength, Caleb recited the Banishment Rite, an incantation capable of sealing the Skinwalker for eternity. The words reverberated through the night, intertwining with Selene's sacrifice and the relic's power. The very ground shook as the Skinwalker roared, its form distorting as it struggled against the binding magic. In a surge of magic and sheer determination, Caleb struck the final blow. The Skinwalker let out a deafening scream as its form imploded, collapsing into itself. The ground quaked one last time before silence settled over the woods. The Skinwalker was banished, its malevolent presence extinguished. As dawn broke, Hollowbrook stood still, mourning Selene's sacrifice and celebrating their newfound freedom. The townsfolk, once plagued by fear, emerged from their homes, their faces bathed in the warm light of a new day. Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Caleb stood together, their hearts heavy with loss, but filled with hope for the future. In the weeks that followed, the woods that had once been a place of terror began to heal. Flowers bloomed, and birdsong returned, signaling the return of life to the once darkened forest. The town, too, began to heal, its wounds mending as the memory of the Skinwalker faded into the past. The tale of Hollowbrook's triumph over the Skinwalker became a legend, a story of courage and sacrifice passed down through generations. Children listened wide-eyed as their elders recounted the battle, the names of Caleb and Selene held in reverence. The legacy of their bravery lived on, inspiring future generations to face challenges with determination and unity. In honor of Selene's sacrifice, a memorial was erected in the heart of Hollowbrook, a statue depicting her holding the ancient relics, her expression resolute. The townsfolk gathered at the memorial every year, paying tribute to the woman who had given her life to save their town. Flowers adorned the base of the statue, a symbol of gratitude and remembrance. In the aftermath of the battle, Caleb, Mia, and Dr. Blackwood found solace in each other's company. Their shared experience had forged an unbreakable bond, and they became a family of sorts. Together, they continued their exploration of the supernatural, ensuring that Hollowbrook remained protected from any lingering malevolence. With the threat of the Skinwalker gone, Caleb, Mia, and Dr. Blackwood became the new guardians of Hollowbrook. Armed with knowledge and magic, they vowed to protect their town from any supernatural threat that dared to encroach upon its borders. Their watchful eyes and steadfast determination became a beacon of safety for the town. Hollowbrook underwent a transformation. Buildings that had once been mared by fear were rebuilt, their walls painted in vibrant hues. The town square, once a place of whispered rumors, became a hub of activity, filled with laughter and music. Life returned to Hollowbrook, its spirit unbroken by the darkness of the past. Years later, a visitor arrived in Hollowbrook, a young girl named Ilara, gifted with a rare ability to communicate with spirits. Drawn by the town's rich supernatural history, she sought out Caleb, Mia, and Dr. Blackwood. Intrigued by her potential, they took her under their wing, teaching her the ways of magic and the importance of balance in the supernatural realm. Despite the newfound peace, a subtle unease lingered in the air. Caleb, Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Ilara sensed that the supernatural world was in flux, as if a storm was brewing on the horizon. Unseen threats whispered through the woods, and ancient powers stirred, their intentions unclear. The guardians remained vigilant, knowing that their duty was far from over. Recognizing the growing unrest in the supernatural realm, Caleb, Mia, Dr. Blackwood, and Ilara established the Council of Guardians, a coalition of gifted individuals dedicated to preserving the balance between the natural and supernatural worlds. Together, they delved into ancient texts and arcane knowledge, seeking to understand the nature of the looming threat. In the dead of night, Ilara received visions, prophetic dreams that revealed fragments of a dark prophecy. She saw a shadowy figure, 
its eyes ablaze with malice, and heard cryptic whispers that spoke of an ancient being awakening from slumber. The revelation sent shivers down her spine, and she shared her visions with the Council of Guardians, urging them to prepare for what lay ahead. As the town of Hollowbrook celebrated another year of peace, the Guardians stood vigilant, their eyes fixed on the horizon. The air crackled with tension, and the woods, once again, seemed to hold its breath. The gathering storm, fueled by ancient forces and unseen malevolence, threatened to engulf Hollowbrook in darkness once more. The Guardians knew that their greatest challenge was yet to come, and they steeled themselves for the battle that would determine the fate of their town and the supernatural world beyond. <laughs> In the remote town of Whispering Pines, a long-forgotten curse stirred from its slumber. A skinwecker, a creature of ancient evil, emerged from the shadows, its hunger for human souls insatiable. Unbeknownst to the townsfolk, darkness had descended upon their peaceful home. Whispering Pines was shaken by a series of mysterious disappearances. People vanished without a trace, leaving behind only whispers of strange sightings in the night. Fear gripped the hearts of the townsfolk as they realized something malevolent lurked in the darkness, preying on their community. Detective Evelyn Wallace, a seasoned investigator, was assigned to the case. Initially skeptical of supernatural claims, she delved into the disappearances, determined to unravel the truth. As she dug deeper, she found herself confronted by inexplicable phenomena that defied rational explanation forcing her to question her beliefs. Through her investigation, Detective Wallace unearthed an ancient curse, a skinwecker bound to the town centuries ago. The creature's thirst for souls had awakened, driving it to terrorize Whispering Pines once more. Armed with this chilling knowledge, the detective prepared to face the supernatural force lurking in the shadows. Detective Wallace sought the help of Dr. Sebastian Blackwood, a reclusive scholar and expert in the occult. Initially reluctant to involve himself in the town's affairs, Dr. Blackwood sensed the gravity of the situation and agreed to assist the detective. Together, they embarked on a perilous journey to stop the skinwecker before it consumed the entire town. Dr. Blackwood revealed an ancient ritual capable of banishing the skinwecker. The ritual required intricate symbols and a deep understanding of the supernatural. As they prepared, the town descended further into chaos. Unexplained phenomena escalated, and the skinwicker's presence loomed larger, its hunger driving it to greater acts of malevolence. Under the cover of midnight, Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood began the ritual. The air crackled with dark energy as they chanted ancient incantations and drew arcane symbols. In the midst of the ceremony, the skinwicker appeared its eyes gleaming with malevolent hunger. The battle between light and darkness had begun. The battle was not only physical, but also a battle of wits. The skinwaker, ancient and cunning, manipulated the minds of the townsfolk, turning them against each other. Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood, armed with knowledge and determination, resisted the creature's psychological assaults, their unity bolstered by the strength of their conviction. As the battle raged, the Skinwecker unleashed its full fury. Shadows writhed, and the very fabric of reality seemed to warp under its influence. Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood, undeterred, stood their ground, their unwavering resolve shielding them from the Skinwecker's malevolence. With every ounce of their strength, Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood completed the ritual. The symbols glowed with ethereal light, forming a barrier around the skinwecker. The creature howled in fury, its form contorting within the mystical confines. In that moment of vulnerability, they sealed the skinwecker, banishing it to the depths of the supernatural realm. As dawn broke, whispering pines stood still, mourning the lost souls and celebrating their newfound freedom. Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood, though weary, found solace in their victory. The town, once shrouded in fear, emerged from the darkness, its spirit unbroken by the horrors of the night. 
Despite the victory, lingering shadows continued to haunt Whispering Pines. Nightmares plagued the townsfolk, and whispers of the Skinwicker's return echoed through the night. Detective Wallace, too, was tormented by visions, her sleep disturbed by the creature's malevolent gaze. The battle may have been won, but the war was far from over. Months passed, and just as the town began to believe that the worst was behind them, the Skinwicker's sinister presence resurged. It appeared in dreams, its voice a chilling whisper in the wind. The symbols of the binding ritual began to fade, weakening the cage that held the creature in the supernatural realm. Realizing the Skinwicker's resurgence, Detective Wallace and Dr. Blackwood formed a desperate alliance with the local witch Ilara. Ilara, gifted with ancient knowledge, revealed a prophecy, a prophecy that spoke of a chosen one, destined to face the Skinwicker in a final cataclysmic battle. The trio set out to find this chosen one, their hope flickering in the face of despair. The chosen one, a young man named Samuel, was initially reluctant to accept his destiny. However, witnessing the Skinwicker's devastating influence on the town, he embraced his role. With Detective Wallace, Dr. Blackwood, and Ilara as his guides, Samuel embarked on a journey of self-discovery, preparing himself for the ultimate confrontation. To strengthen Samuel's power, the trio sought out ancient relics, objects imbued with mystical energy capable of combating the Skinwicker. Their quest led them to hidden chambers and forgotten temples, where they faced traps and guardians, testing their determination and resolve. Under the guidance of his mentors, Samuel underwent rigorous training. He learned ancient spells and mastered the use of the relics, his skills honed by Ilara's wisdom, Dr. Blackwood's knowledge, and Detective Wallace's unwavering support. In the moonlit nights, he practiced his abilities, the woods echoing with the crackle of magic. As Samuel delved deeper into his training, he experienced prophetic dreams, visions of the Skinwicker's past and its insidious plans for the future. The dreams revealed the creature's true origins and its connection to a dark force that sought to consume the world. Armed with this knowledge, Samuel's determination solidified, his purpose clear. The night of the final confrontation arrived, a night shrouded in darkness and uncertainty. Samuel, Detective Wallace, Dr. Blackwood, and Ilara ventured deep into the heart of the woods, guided by ancient texts and Samuel's intuition. The air crackled with tension as they reached the very spot where the Skinwacker had first been imprisoned. The battle that ensued was cataclysmic. The Skinwacker, now aware of the Chosen One's presence, emerged in a monstrous form, a grotesque fusion of all the creatures it had ever mimicked. Samuel faced the creature head-on, his spells clashing with the Skinwacker's dark magic. Detective Wallace, Dr. Blackwood, and Ilara provided support their combined efforts creating a barrier against the creature's onslaught. In the midst of the battle, Ilara realized the only way to defeat the Skinwicker was through sacrifice. With tears in her eyes, she cast a powerful spell, linking her life force to the ancient relics and channeling their energy into Samuel. The sacrifice amplified Samuel's abilities, turning the tide of the battle in their favor. With newfound strength, Samuel recited the Banishment Rite, an incantation capable of sealing the Skinwacker for eternity. The words reverberated through the night, intertwining with Ilara's sacrifice and the relic's power. The very ground shook as the Skinwacker roared, its form distorting as it struggled against the binding magic. In a surge of magic and sheer determination, Samuel struck the final blow. The Skinwacker let out a deafening scream as its form imploded, collapsing into itself. The ground quaked one last time before silence settled over the woods. The Skinwacker was banished, its malevolent presence extinguished. As dawn broke, Whispering Pines stood still, mourning Ilara's sacrifice and celebrating their newfound freedom. Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood, though weary, found solace in their victory. The town, once plagued by fear, emerged from the darkness, its spirit unbroken by the horrors of the night. In the weeks that followed, 
The woods that had once been a place of terror began to heal. Flowers bloomed, and birdsong returned, signaling the return of life to the once darkened forest. The town, too, began to heal, its wounds mending as the memory of the skinwicker faded into the past. The tale of Whispering Pine's triumph over the skinwicker became a legend, a story of courage and sacrifice passed down through generations. Children listened wide-eyed as their elders recounted the battle, the names of Samuel and Ilara held in reverence. The legacy of their bravery lived on, inspiring future generations to face challenges with determination and unity. In honor of Ilara's sacrifice, a memorial was erected in the heart of Whispering Pines, a statue depicting her holding the ancient relics, her expression resolute. The townsfolk gathered at the memorial every year, paying tribute to the woman who had given her life to save their town. Flowers adorned the base of the statue, a symbol of gratitude and remembrance. In the aftermath of the battle, Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood found solace in each other's company. Their shared experience had forged an unbreakable bond, and they became a family of sorts. Together, they continued their exploration of the supernatural, ensuring that Whispering Pines remained protected from any lingering malevolence. With the threat of the Skinwecker gone, Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood became the new guardians of Whispering Pines. Armed with knowledge and magic, they vowed to protect their town from any supernatural threat that dared to encroach upon its borders. Their watchful eyes and steadfast determination became a beacon of safety for the town. Whispering Pines underwent a transformation. Buildings that had once been mared by fear were rebuilt, their walls painted in vibrant hues. The town square, once a place of whispered rumors, became a hub of activity, filled with laughter and music. Life returned to Whispering Pines, its spirit unbroken by the darkness of the past. Years later, a visitor arrived in Whispering Pines, a young girl named Lily, gifted with a rare ability to communicate with spirits. Drawn by the town's rich supernatural history, she sought out Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood. Intrigued by her potential, they took her under their wing, teaching her the ways of magic and the importance of balance in the supernatural realm. Despite the newfound peace, a subtle unease lingered in the air. Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood sensed that the supernatural world was in flux, as if a storm was brewing on the horizon. Unseen threats whispered through the woods, and ancient powers stirred, their intentions unclear. The Guardians remained vigilant, knowing that their duty was far from over. Recognizing the growing unrest in the supernatural realm, Samuel, Detective Wallace, and Dr. Blackwood established the Council of Guardians, a coalition of gifted individuals dedicated to preserving the balance between the natural and supernatural worlds. Together, they delved into ancient texts and arcane knowledge, seeking to understand the nature of the looming threat. In the dead of night, Lily received visions, prophetic dreams that revealed fragments of a dark prophecy. She saw a shadowy figure, its eyes ablaze with malice, and heard cryptic whispers that spoke of an ancient being awakening from slumber. The revelation sent shivers down her spine, and she shared her visions with the Council of Guardians, urging them to prepare for what lay ahead. As the town of Whispering Pines celebrated another year of peace, the Guardians stood vigilant, their eyes fixed on the horizon. The air crackled with tension, and the woods, once again, seemed to hold its breath. The gathering storm, fueled by ancient forces and unseen malevolence, threatened to engulf Whispering Pines in darkness once more. The Guardians knew that their greatest challenge was yet to come, and they steeled themselves for the battle that would determine the fate of their town and the supernatural world beyond.